Hello my amazing artists. Today we are going to make liquid watercolor, which is one of my favorite things to use when making art. So if you don't have a color palette, a um, watercolor palette, don't worry, you can make your own colors. All you need is food coloring and water, basically. I like to put my colors in reusable um, tubs because, well, we're gonna use watercolor later on and um, it would be wonderful if you could save your paint. Now, we're going to use the primary colors. We could use green, but why use green when you can make green? So, my primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Now, um, yellow is the weakest, and it takes the most to make color. So um, I'm going to start with it first, but I've added about half a cup of water, or these cups are filled up about halfway. Don't worry, you can always add more water or you can add more paint. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put about three drops of yellow in, and I'm going to stir, I've got clean water with over here, and I'm going to stir with my paintbrush. Trust me, I'm going to need a lot more, I'm going to test it. Yeah, it's pretty light. So I'm gonna add, oh, that was a big old squeeze. Let's see, that was about, hmm, let's say five drops. So nine total, or eight total, did I say three first, five? Oh yeah, that's much better, okay. Now, I want to add, I'm gonna make green, because green plus yellow make blue. And I'm gonna make orange with the yellow as well because yellow and red make orange. But I'm gonna add my yellow first because trust me, it takes a lot of yellow and just a tiny bit of red and blue to make the other colors. So I'm gonna start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I've got almost the same yellow. I probably need to add a couple of drops here. Shh, don't tell of the yellow, okay? And incidentally, when you paint, and when I paint, I tend to need, oh yeah, that looks good, I just dropped a little bit, tend to need fresh yellow. So be prepared, you're probably gonna go through yellow the most. Then I'm gonna go on to red. So I'm gonna make my red color first. I added about four drops in there and I'm gonna test it. It's okay, it's a little pinky. Add one, two, three, four more. And stir it, and oh, much better. But see how I just add a little bit, test it, and add a little bit more. Now for the orange. Now I wanna be very careful not to add too much red because once I add too much red, it's hard to I'll take a whole lot more yellow to make it right. So I'm just gonna drop, let's drop one for now. I think that's gonna take more than that, but I wanna test it. Okay, it's kind of a yellow orange right now. And do one more, test it. Oh, much better. I think I could do one more red drop, so about Three drops of yellow to one red is gonna give me a pretty good orange. I could probably do one more. Let's try that. That's good. Okay, can always even add on my paper. If I'm not sure I like that orange enough, I can always add a little bit of red to it too. Okay, because remember we mix colors on our paint palette or on our paper and not in the the cups, only now are we mixing the colors in the cups. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with blue. Let's see, it took about three red to make a good blue, so I'm gonna do about three blue. Whew, that looks strong, which is good. I want an intense color. Test it. Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, and we're gonna do, took about three or four. I'm gonna start with, I'm kind of a wimp. I'm gonna start with one. Test it. Oh, that is very green. Oh, I'm glad I didn't add too much. Okay, it's still a little yellow green, so I'm gonna add one blue. So be very careful. Just add a little bit at a time. Test it. Oh, I think that's a good green. Could add a little bit more blue to it, but I think it's fine. 
got my blue. Now I'm going to mix blue and red, which makes purple. Okay. Now I'll be honest with you. The purple from the red and the blue is, that's okay. So I'm going to do about three drops of red. Okay. And what did we do over here? Maybe four. And one drop blue. Let's try that. Okay, the blue is really intense next to the red. I'm going to test it. Okay. It's kind of a dark purple, so I'm going to add one, two, three reds into it. And it's kind of a red purple. But that's about as close as you're going to get. That one was a little bit better, wasn't it? So I'm going to add a tiny bit of blue and mix it and see if that gets me a little bit closer. All right, that's a little bit blue or purple. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. But the purple is the one color that doesn't look the best. But all these other colors are fantastic, and I can paint using them. So why don't we make a rainbow? Just a very simple rainbow. So I'm going to pull all these colors over to the side. This is my paint palette. Put my water up here and get a new piece of paper. Oh, and remember my fun thing that I love to do. I am going to take some white and I'm going to make some curly clouds before I even get started. So they're going to be fluffy and they're going to be over here kind of on the edge of my table. All right. Yep, you can't see that over there, so I'm going to scoot it over. Okay. And what color comes first in the rainbow? That's right, red. So I'm going to take my red and I'm going to make a very tall rainbow. And oh, look how beautiful that is. And I can add layers to make it more intense. Don't worry if I drop a little bit and mess up. It's okay. I'm going to keep going and make something beautiful out of it. Next color is my orange. And I'm going to paint my orange like this. Remember, if I want to mix colors, I do it on my paper. Now I want to keep my yellow nice and clean. So I'm going to clean my brush really good in my water, tap it, swish it off. And, oh, look how beautiful that is. And if I want it more intense, I'm just going to add more layers. So I'll add lots very gently. I don't want to go through my paper. Next color is green. Look, I'm just going around my color wheel. And blue. and purple. Now, you may not like the way the purple looks, but when it dries, look, that's a pretty color. And then I'm going to paint the rest like a blue sky. So I'm going to take my blue. Oh, look, there are the clouds. I should have painted them a little bit farther over, but that's okay. Or colored them a little bit farther over. Look, there are my clouds. They're showing up. I'm going to go over that red dot. And I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about it. I think it's a beautiful painting. So that's our rainbow. And as you know, one of our favorite things to do is to add some salt and sprinkle it around and add a little bit of interest. Now, you can just use a salt shaker at home. You can do it around the whole thing. Just remember, add a little bit, because if you add too much, you lose the effect. 
and when it dries, it'll start to give it this cool starburst look. And that's our rainbow.